Warming temperatures, shifting seasonal patterns and more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is affecting pollen production. For the millions of people who suffer from seasonal allergies, climate change is making them worse by lengthening pollen season and making allergies even severe. In our next report, a professor of biology at Indiana University explains how climate change is impacting plant species, which are then impacting the allergy season. Okay, so normally seasonal allergies last from early spring through late fall, but warming temperatures and shifting seasonal patterns, both linked to climate change, are expanding allergy season and its impact on respiratory health. But is your nose ready? Experts say body's first line of defense against allergens is the nose, and as an increased amount of pollen grains are now powdering the air. Experts report people have now become more vulnerable to catching colds and that is leading to a higher density of allergens that can overwhelm the nose's defenses, making the connections between climate change and seasonal allergies increasingly clear. Climate change and in particular global warming is doing two major things to plants. One, it's changing when they flower, so spring flowers are typically flowering earlier in the year. And it's also changing the abundance of particular plant species. So some species are increasing in abundance and some species will decline in the face of climate change. As per a report by Climate Central, warming temperatures and more freeze-free days increase carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and climate change is making allergy season longer and even more intense with high amounts of allergens in the air. Global changes are affecting the timing of flowers and flowering and also how many flowers are out there, it's likely to affect our allergy seasons. And there's some really cool new data from pollen counting stations all across North America showing that the allergy season is coming earlier in the year and also that the total amount of pollen floating around in the air around us is increasing in abundance. Um, and there's some data too for particularly nasty allergens like ragweed, suggesting that ragweed is producing more pollen as the climate warms. So if you are suffering a seasonal flu, you are not alone. Health experts advise to check in with your doctor and take your allergy medicine early as it can take four to five days to take effect and your symptoms can be managed. They also suggest using masks if at most priority and are highly efficient to keep pollen and mold spores from being breathed in. I think it's safe to say that the allergy season will come sooner each year as, as plants flower earlier in the spring. It's also likely that the allergy season will increase in duration. So spring flowering species are flowering earlier, but warming also means that fall flowering species can continue flowering later in the year. So our allergy seasons are likely to get longer. Um, and there's, there's some data that this is especially true for ragweed, one of those nasty allergens, that it's increased um, the the flowering duration, so the, the amount of the allergy season for, by about 15 to 25 days just over the past 30 years.